Uh, want to say a few words about the next piece. Uh, this was written in the 1790s, and um, uh, Beethoven was a young man in his 20s. He was born in 1770 and uh, was performed. Uh, he traveled to Vienna to make his career. He was a, uh, a, a establishing a reputation as a, as a pianist. And uh, so he had published one piece, of, one composition already in 1795, but the, this was the, the first one in the official catalog, a group of three trios. When they performed it for uh, a prince uh, in Vienna in 1793, all three trios, four movements each, um, the, the famous composer Haydn, Haydn was in the audience and uh, was very, very impressed, but he, he took the young man aside and said, uh, you know that one number three, the one we're doing today, uh, maybe, maybe you should hold that one back, you know, uh, because it's a little, a little radical. And so, uh, uh, doesn't, maybe not, doesn't strike people that way now, but um, some of the harmony and so forth. Uh, what does uh, strike a lot of people in, about Beethoven's music is uh, the drama uh, 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 that he had and, and the exuberance and energy, enthusiasm. Uh, the fourth movement that we're doing today is uh, Mark Prestissimo. When I was a young piano student, we, I had the metronome on top of the piano and uh, you had adjusted the stick and they had little marks on it. Now, up here was Andante and Allegro and, and then well, you had the thing way down at the bottom that was Prestissimo. It, it means fast. Yeah, <laughs> faster than fast. Right. <laughs> so uh, 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 it, uh, we didn't we didn't time it to the metronome, but hopefully it will have that kind of a, um, uh, effect. Effect. And, and I hope you enjoy. It. <coughs> Thank you. 